All right. Welcome to the show, Tiari. How are you? Thank you so much for having me. I'm good. How are you? I'm great. You know, I'm healthy. Um, COVID cases are kind of going up in Texas, so I might have to reel it in in terms of being out and about. But um, tell me a little bit about where you are in the world and, and how you're doing overall. I'm doing pretty good right now. I'm at home, um, but mostly I've just been starting to get back up with like softball. So we're starting to play a little bit and get back out on the field, which is probably the most exciting thing that I've experienced in a while. Just, you know, being out there with my teammates and my coaches, it's just, you know, really fun to get that back. So that's one thing that's really exciting for me right now. Awesome. And then uh, this year you were the 2020 Gatorade California Player of the Year. Congratulations. Yes, thank you. Thank you so much. Um, so tell me about when you first heard um, that you were the 2020 Gatorade Player of the Year for California. Uh, what was your initial reaction? I was just super shocked because I didn't know exactly when it was coming out. So uh, when my dad woke me up at at 6 30 in the morning telling me I was just kind of speechless um because I you know I've always looked up to you know Megan Frama who won the 2020 National Gatorade Player of the Year or that 2019 and um it was just really exciting and I was like you know one day I hope that's going to be me and I was just really excited Mm -hmm. yeah uh speaking of uh Megan Frama I was going through some um old footage and I was trying to find that epic, epic game at PGF Nationals in 2018 uh, where you hit a bomb off of Megan and (laughs) I I couldn't find it on the site, Uh, but can you kind of tell me about that moment? And uh, actually that run was, I'll let you tell the story because it's a long story. Yeah, that will forever be one of my favorite softball moments that I've ever experienced. Just, you know, being at the field at 630 in the morning and not leaving until like 11 o'clock at night, just coming back from the loser's bracket, playing six games that day is just absolutely, I don't know that, Um, but um, to like double dip Carter Angels and do amazing games was just so much fun and super competitive. But um, at at bat, I was just, you know, just hoping to get on base, um, you know, to keep my team alive. But um, once I hit that ball, I kind of knew. And, you know, coming home to my teammates was just like the best feeling ever. So it was just super fun. Now, I mean, how long how long have you played uh, with the Bat Busters now? Um, I've been playing since I was in the eighth grade, seventh grade with them. Yeah, and oh, for a while. Um, I mean, the Bat Busters have had a long history of winning, but you talked about being knocked into the loser's bracket and having to chip away uh, yeah. to, to get eventually to the championship game. Um, in a lot of ways, it's those moments that teach us the most. Um, right. Can you kind of share what was so profound about that journey? Because it it was, I mean, that one moment was definitely something that sticks out in your mind, but it's like a grind and every moment, every pitch, um, every play counts. Can you talk about um, some of the things that you walked away with after that particular nationals? Yeah, um, definitely, you know, mental toughness, just being able to, you know, locked in for many hours was just something that I learned to do after that just to be you know um, focused for that long and you know sometimes we make mistakes and we get lazy here and there you know during those long days there was no room for mistakes there was no room for you know um, missed plays or um, those things but definitely to learn how to be mentally locked in for that like long days just helped me now to get through, you know, one game or two games, but definitely um, being around my teammates um, has helped me um, along with that journey as well. Just being with those competitors and, you know, those players who want to win. So definitely that part of it too. 